Okay, I'm gonna finally do my um my mommy mobile tour now that Karen is taking her nap. So <clears throat> on my driver's side door, I just keep um, right here like lip stuff, whatever. Can we walk around with ashy lips? I have a tire pressure gauge because y'all know I just had a situation with my tires. And then right here I keep a first aid kit, and it's really basic. It just has um you know, band-aids and the little wipes and gauze and stuff like that. I have a bigger one in my trunk, but this is one that I can get to pretty easy. I have hand sanitizer, um, Febreze spray. I have um, lotion and gum. The Febreze is really not needed as much anymore, but I used to use that. I had that all the time when um, I was potty training. I'm sorry, when they were still in diapers because, you know, I keep them in the car until I get to a trash can. But I keep my umbrella right here. And inside the car, I just keep my garage clicker above my head. And those are just the controls for the back doors. And um, I keep a pair of sunglasses up here. And then it's just the, what do you call this? The conversation mirror. Um... And then I have a, what is that, Bath and Body Works car freshener thing. Um, down here, I just keep a extra pad if I need to, like, write something down or something like that. And these are um, cup holders that I don't really ever use. And then there's two of the cigarette lighter things down there, and I keep Kleenex right here. And then I have two cup holders right here um, next to me. And back here is just two more. These are just stickers that the girls just got at the doctor. In this thing here, I keep these little floss things because I hate to be somewhere and then feel like I have something in my teeth after I eat. In here, I just keep um, extra Polynesian sauce because Chick-fil-A be on that mess. I have a refill for my um, Bath and Body Works air freshener thing. This is the uh, extra plug, but it's so many like charger ports in here. I don't, I don't really need them, uh, but I keep it in there anyway. Um, there's some lottery tickets that my dad gave my girls. I keep glasses cleaners because we all wear glasses in this little family. I have ink pens and a sharpie. And I also keep um, an extra magazine for um, for my weapon. I am a licensed carrier, but I keep an extra uh, magazine in there just in case. And then sliding this thing back, I have my car charger right here. And it's plugged up to a thing. You see, I got extra charging things. That's why I said I don't need the other thing anymore. And um, these are doggy bags. I used to buy the baby diaper bags, but these are so much cheaper. I can get a lot of these from um, Bed Bath & Beyond or either Amazon for a little bit of nothing. But I use these little bags for um, trash. So, like, I'm sick right now. So, every time, like, I blow my nose instead of just having, like, a ton of tissue sitting up here with me, I put them in here. And then I keep another bag in the back for the girls like a regular grocery bag for all of our trash so if we go out to eat um you know chick-fil-a or something they can throw their trash in there because i hate trash in the car so that's that i keep um baby wipes and i keep this really big i'm sorry really big ziploc bag and it just has like extra spoons and forks um grocery bags there's some gloves in there straws um, what are those? Some screws? Probably for like the little plate that I bought to go in the front of my car. Um, and extra napkins. Just, you know, just in case. And at the very bottom, I keep a comb and a brush. And that's a comb and brush set. You know, having two little girls. Might have to comb, oops, sorry. Have to comb some hair or something like that. And those are just the things that I hang in my window if I pick Cameron up as a car rider. So they'll know. Which child I'm looking for. So yeah, that's all that goes down in there. And um, in the passenger seat, I just keep my purse. And that's my planner because I take my planner everywhere I go. That's how I keep up with um, bills, my grocery list, appointments, um, 
important papers like Cameron has a field trip coming up so her permission slip is in there so if I go to an appointment like I did this morning and I got some free time I can go ahead and fill it out go ahead and write it down in the finance part of my planner so that I can go ahead and allocate to get it taken care of um yeah so that's all this up here oh and I have my mount that's the mount that I use for my phone and my camera while I'm driving so I'm not out here living dangerous so that's all that I have in my front driver's seat. And then the back seat, um, I keep the girls' umbrellas down there behind Kasdan's seat. And I keep a can of Lysol for the potty. I'll explain that. And just for germs because I don't like germs. Um, so Kasdan sits directly behind me because she is the most needy and it's easier to get her out the car this way um but this is her her winter hat sitting in her seat we don't take them in the house because i park in the garage so if they take them in the house they will lose them between the playroom they room, it don't even matter they'll lose them and that's just her lunch from um from earlier today and behind my seat kazan keeps her gloves in there her charger to her um tablet and one of her little talking books that she she keeps and normally her uh tablet is plugged up uh like right down there so yeah that's Kazan seat and people ask me all the time and yes i do travel with a potty and the reason why is because Kazan is four now but i've been doing it since <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time. It's really frustrating to be somewhere or trying to get somewhere. We travel a lot and they have to go to the bathroom and it's just me. So if I'm traveling out of town, somebody got to go potty, one of the girls, I can pull over on the side of the road, get them out of their seat, let them walk on up here, go potty, open that door over there, dump the, the liquid out <laughs> and I keep the, the doggy bags I can put the um the little flushable wipes in the doggy bag and then we can dispose of it when we get somewhere that we can dispose of it um so yeah I do travel with the potty I really do and I use the Lysol to you know spray it out I keep uh paper towels and stuff like that to wipe it out I got gloves in the whole nine yards so it just make my life easier because Little girls or something else. And then Cameron don't like using a nasty bathroom. So that's just the way my kids are. So um, over there is just the passenger middle seat. And I keep the headrest down so that Cameron can see um, the TV. So like when we're riding, um, the girls, they'll watch DVDs and stuff like that. Um, but I keep a blanket right there because early in the mornings, Kazan's always cold. So I just keep a blanket over there for her. And that's her little troll bag with her tablet and um another charger and a little the plug-in part to her charger and her journal a little stuff for to keep her occupied and then back here i got some um more baby wipes to like clean hands and stuff i don't like sticky kids and these are flushable wipes and those are just two dvds that didn't fit in the front back there is cameron's Space, her little booster seat and over there she keeps her um her little lip stuff for her lips her earphones for her tablet that's her stuff from this morning and from lunch um that's her lunch i keep her winter hat <coughs> excuse me i keep her winter hat back here too she keeps her little purse back here and that's one of the books that she's reading and over there is just the extra purse that I keep a change of underclothes for both girls, um, more doggy bags, um, you know, just in case anybody have a little slip up. And there's an extra, uh, what you call that thing, a grocery bag, just in case. Um, and that's just the air freshener that I bought. It smells so good. So yeah, that's all that I keep in the back of my car, I think. Yeah, that's it. And then my trunk. Back here I keep the goods. So over here is extra grocery bags. I normally fold them up and keep them in these um, these travel, um, what do you call these things? Diaper wipe containers because it's easier to kind of keep them and they don't look like that. So that's that. I keep a snack bin. Yes, my kids, y'all, they always hungry or thirsty, and ain't nobody got time for that. 
because I'm not going to be buying stuff every time. So I got extra bottled water. There are juice pouches in there. There's one of the peanut butter cups left. Kazan's allergic to peanuts, so I don't have to worry about her. There's banana chips. More bottled water. Oops, I just opened that bag. Um, I bought these at the Dollar Tree. They were on sale for a quarter because Christmas is over. And they have juices and juice boxes. So there's normally like Ritz crackers and stuff like that in there too. But they ate them. They eat everything. Um, that's just a bag. I just bought some stuff from Dollar Tree and take it in the house. I keep an extra jacket for myself because sometimes I run out of the house. I got everybody else together, but not myself. So keep an extra jacket for me. That is a two liter of juice because, again, I'm not buying anything. We might go somewhere and I buy something that's enough to feed all three of us. And I travel with a Yeti cup and they travel with their little um thermos straw things that i'm sure y'all will see in the video one time or another and i just pour it in there and keep it pushing because i'm not spending no money this is my travel emergency kit and this thing that got me through some things y'all i keep a travel size pillow in here i used to work um security so i used to get stuck at work sometimes and it comes in handy um i normally keep a blanket in here too but i washed it because of the whole little snow situation we just didn't have. Um, I keep gloves. These are Lysol wipes that I was talking about I use for the potty sometimes. These are just Kleenex. These are cotton balls. Um, this is a glow stick flashlight whistle thing that I've never used, but you know, it's there. Back here is um, some off. There is some, um, what is that stuff called? Uh, sunscreen. Cameron had to have it for cheerleading and Kazan had to have it for daycare. And, um, yeah. Down in this little thing, I bought these in a set of, how many? Of three from the Dollar Tree. But I keep Shout Wipe and Go Wipes in there. Um, just in case, because you know kids are messy. And I got this as a gift in my baby shower for my soon-to-be eight-year-old. She'll be eight on Thursday. And you can tell it's, it's been to war with us a time or two. But I keep hand and pocket warmers in there. I have some for the girls and some for myself. There's some um, eye drops in there. And these are back there. Those are like those saline nose drops. And I still have uh, diaper rash cream from when they were babies. But I don't leave home without it. And there's a bottle of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol here. And um, in here, I, it's a pencil box, an old pencil box at that. There is a medicine dropper and spoon because, like I said, my kids have a lot of food allergies and stuff. And Benadryl be having to pop off and, you know. Um, I got a nail file, a uh, grocery bag. There's some mouthwash. Another shout wipe. What is that? Antibiotic cream. Which is hydrocort yeah, hydrocortisone cream. I'm about to drop it. There's another comb. There's some scissors down there. You know, we be popping tags. I'm lying. But <laughs> and I got some eye drops. Um, yeah, an ink pen. So I just keep all of that in the um, um in my little emergency kit. The only thing that's missing out of there is a blanket. I normally keep a blanket for each one of us in the car at all times, especially in the winter time, just in case, you know, shouldn't no cars be breaking down, but, you know, just in case. So that is all that I keep in my car. And the car came with the built-in little flashlight. Yeah, but I keep a tactical flashlight in my pocketbook. Cause I'm weird like that. So that is all that I keep inside of my mommy mobile. And if you guys um, keep anything different in your car, um, or you got suggestions on stuff that I should keep in my car, let me know. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.